Peter Gibbs, how, how are you? It was back uh, about a week or so before Christmas that we last spoke to you. Yeah. And it's a little bit warmer today, a whole lot sunnier. Oh, yeah. So how you been? Not too bad. I went to Toronto for a couple of days. Unfortunately, what I was hoping for wasn't, uh, wasn't doable. They didn't have enough medical information on the paperwork that I needed to get brought back here so that I could get in to see a shrink or someone to get me on the right medication. Uh, so no medical file, no doctor. I'm going to have to find one of these walking clinics somewhere and hope for the best. How have you, uh, how have you survived? Just walking up and down Queen Street. A little bit of help from people here and there. People bring me food. Uh, for the most part, people still saying, hey, how you doing? Uh, DJ Williams, thank you very much. I won't forget that. Uh, the young lady outside of the Algonquin, thank you so much. Uh, all the people that have stopped by and said, hey, Peter, how you doing, man? How's it going? I, it's cool. I like that. But uh, two days ago, no, yesterday, I uh, was sitting in front of uh, the old uh, call center on Queen Street. It used to be Wilco. I'm just sort of collecting my thoughts, reflecting on the moment. Some guy from across the street hollers at me, Hey, you, come here. And when I didn't respond, he came across the street, got aggressive. He had a cigarette in his hand. He's like, here, take the cigarette. So I took the cigarette, and he starts getting, he, he's standing there, and he, he, he's like this, and he's like, What are you doing on the street? What are you doing out here? You shouldn't be out here. You got no right to be on the street. And I'm like, yo, dude, you're freaking me out, man. I don't need this kind of grief. And when I got up to walk away, he kicked my bag and then kicked me in the back. Well, when I stopped and turned around, he was already gone. So, what are you supposed to do, man? It's pretty bad when the, uh, and, and as he said, I'm employed, I have a job. This is the type of people that like to come around and beat up homeless people? Thanks, buddy. You made me feel so welcome at home again. Uh, other than that, Sault Ste. Marie, you're stuck with me. Whether you like homeless people or not, man, I'm here and I'm staying. So what did you do about that? You talked to the police? Well, I tried talking to the police. The police, uh, he kept asking me why I was on the street. Why don't I go out and get a job? Uh, when I said, what can I do about all of this assault and everything, he basically implied, I don't care. So I said, well, I'm sorry to have bothered you and wasted your time and walked away. So the sleeping bag says that you're homeless now. The last time we spoke, I think you said you were staying at the Algonquin. And I where, was. Where uh, are you now? I'm on the street again. Uh, when I went to the Algonquin, <coughs> I paid for a night myself. In the morning, or no, that afternoon, I went back to ODSP to make arrangements to stay at the Algonquin for a month, and my worker had already gone home, and this is like 2.30 in the afternoon. Now, she told me the following Monday that arrangements had been made for me to stay at the Algonquin but nobody informed me. Nobody said nothing to me. You're, you're a hard guy to find, though. I, I used to have a phone. My worker even had my phone number. Okay. And I even left a message for her. Please call me. I think we should talk. I had to go back into the office that day. And I said, well, what's going on? She said, well, because... Because you did this with your ODSP check, we're now going to overcharge you and take money back. So you know what? Close my file, dry your blood from a stone because you're not getting any money out of me because I don't get money anymore. I'm not on disability, not on welfare, and I don't want any government services. I want a job, so I dare anybody to hire me. I can do plumbing, renovations, restoration, roofing. I can do it all. And I'm, pardon the expression, Toby, when it comes to working for a few bucks an hour, because I enjoy working for the money that I make, and I enjoy being able to spend it without guilt 
or harass somebody because they want to be homeless. As a matter of fact, I take money out of my own homeless pocket and give it to other homeless people. So, it's what I want. I want a job. I dare anybody to give me a job. And you can find me anywhere on Queen Street. I can get my hands on steel-toed work boots and all kinds of equipment if I need it. So there. There's your challenge, you say, Marie. Somebody give me a job so I can pay taxes and be like the rest of the upstanding citizens of Sault Ste. Marie. You're a, you're a lot more, you're showing a lot more anger than the last time I spoke to you. Well, when I get assaulted because I'm homeless, it tends to offend me. And when I get offended, I don't really know how to deal with it. So, I do what I know how. Survive, man. Hey, buddy, buy the coffee. Yeah. God bless, man. No, no, no. Peter, do you want to get off the street? Yeah, I do. But I need a structured environment. I need people to make sure that I take my vitamins every day. I need people around to help me out with personal inner experiences. I, I need people to talk to. I, I, I can't just walk around like everybody else because I'm not like everybody else. I'm a very complex system inside here and I need help to deal with it. So other than that, I don't know what to do. I'm just surviving, man. Everybody tells me I'm a survivor, so that's what I'm doing. What have you eaten today? Four slices of toast. Where'd you get that? I went and bought it at Mike's. Because only, she only charges me two ten for two orders of toast, so Belly's kind of happy. Okay. And you've been downtown. A few people have been uh, giving you some coin. Yeah, well, like I said earlier, DJ Williams, thank you so much, and it would be greatly appreciated. Again. <laughs> and uh, the young lady from the Algonquin, thank you so much. Your generosity shows me that there are still some people in Sault Ste. Marie with heart and compassion. All the other people that have stopped and said, Hey, Pete, how you doing? I'm looking up at them going, Oh, yeah, you too. Can't tell me about my name. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming by and saying hi. That's all I want, man. I just want people to say hi because it touches me here and it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like... I deserve to be here because when nobody says hi, I don't feel I deserve to be anywhere. Well, I can tell you the the day that this went up on YouTube, uh, the, the week before Christmas, I'm personally aware of at least a half dozen people that were driving up and down Queen Street looking for you with hot soup and uh, plates of lasagna and all I wish kinds I'd of stuff they made. <laughs> Because my belly's screaming now. So let's say Saturday afternoon, where are they going to look for you? If, if they wish to do something. Saturday afternoon. You can find me anywhere between Spring Street and East Street. Either side of the street. Just look for this. Look for me walking down the street, and you'll see me. Okay, Queen Street East. Queen Street okay. East, from Spring Street, from Spring Street to East Street, you'll be able to find me. Thank you very much to all the good people, and I'll say a prayer for anybody who doesn't like me. God bless. Okay, thanks, Peter.